All right, the next thing we need to do is we need to replace these stock videos with our own pictures that we're taking. So let's do that real quick. We are gonna go into pull up our file explorer here and we're gonna open up Hopefully by now you uploaded your pictures into your video production folder in your M drive. Um, if that's still valid when you're watching this video um, in video productions, we should have made a, a folder called 14 shots and I'm going to go back into this one. So this one, I just have some samples here. A um, couple of things about using windows Explorer, at least in this version that we have this year. Um, if you notice, I have some pictures in here. Okay but your formatting might look a little different than mine. You can hold control on your keyboard and scroll your wheel, and this will get your pictures large and small, okay? Another way you can do that is you can change the way they show up by going right-clicking on the white space here, go to view, and you can change your view to large icons or extra large icons. What I'd like you to do, um, these are all media that we have for our 14 shots, I would like you to label them in here. So if you went outside and you took a, uh, let's say you took your establishing shot, okay? Uh, I have this one that I took on the ferry in New York. Um, I'm gonna use that for my establishing shot. I want you to right click on it and go to rename and call it establishing shot, okay? Or you can click once with your left, click button on your mouse and then long click it a second time, hold it for two or three seconds. And then that will let you retitle that. Now here's why <clears throat> what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be importing that media into our project page. So if you're still in um, Premiere Pro, we want our workspace to be in editing mode because we'll be able to find it here. And down in this bottom window, we have our media browser window. Um, we have that called media browser right here, okay? Um, but you notice you have some different options. These options go and hide on you when this is small. So if you don't see those options, you have two choices. You can pull over this little double arrow tab to see what your choices are in here, or for the time being, you can slide this over. We're not using the time uh, line for now. And you can change it so you can see your menus here. If you notice on your project page right now, we only have these uh, three things, the black video, the 14 shots, and actually I have the loop of this one stock video that we put in there. What we wanna do is we want to bring in more things into our project folder. Yours may look uh, like this, that's fine. And you can change it from list view to icon view. What we want to do is to find those uh, videos or pictures that we have, we're going to go to media browser, look on your M drive and the list here. This gives you the whole hierarchy of your drive system in Windows. And then we are going to find, this is my M drive, find your video production folder, your 14 shots video uh, folder. And that should allow you to see all of the media that you want to bring in. Now you only need to select the ones that you're actually going to bring in. But if you think you want to try them all that you've taken, you can go here and you can go control A and that will highlight everything. Or you can go, if you have them all in a row, you can click on one, hold shift down and highlight. That will highlight everything from the first to the last. Or you can multi-select one by one by holding control down and click on any and all that you wanna bring into your project. Um, I think I'm gonna bring in all of these from close up down to three quarters. So I'm gonna hold shift and highlight all those. Now I wanna bring in these other few, so I'm gonna hit control and go and grab the rest of them. Now to bring them into our project folder, all we do is we right click on these and we go import. When you do that, the window itself will change. It will take you back to project here. Um, this panel may be up here, that's fine. You can move it around where you want. And uh, I can scroll up and down and I can see all these pictures um, in my in my project now. So now those are kind of linked to this project. I'm going to go up. I'm going to save this so I don't lose those again. That way, next time I open, they'll be here. I'm going to bring this over. And what I want you to do now is I want to get rid of all these stock videos. Okay. This is that little video that we had. That was just a placeholder to practice. I'm going to either draw a window around this. So they're all highlighted and I'm going to hit delete on my keyboard. 
Okay, that's gone. But I also don't need them here in my project pane. So I'm going to right click on the, my project pane and I am going to clear this out here. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to start adding pictures in here. Um, our first one is our establishing shot. We're just going to grab a few pictures and throw them in here and then we will leave off and be done with this video. So I'm going to grab an establishing shot here. There's one. The next one is going to be my long shot. So I'll grab my long shot here and bring this one over. And then um, if we had three or four, bring in the next one. My next one is going to be my full shot. I should have one of those here. And then we'll save and we will leave off for this video. We will see you in the next one. Thank you for joining me. And uh, I look forward to seeing what you have. Continue your journey.